If you are struggling to find profitable products quickly, you are gonna love this video. I do a demo of Nepeto 2.0. Uh, they made a ton of updates. I've been using it for the last two months now. Finding profitable products, really love it. Uh, the best part about it is I don't have any VAs. I don't have to pay for a leads list. I don't have any of those stress or headaches. I literally log into Nepeto. There's thousands of profitable items for me to choose from. I show you exactly how I filter them down. So if you are looking for help finding profitable products, new sites, new brands, new ideas, you are gonna absolutely love this video. There's also a link down below for you to save 50% off of your first month and also get a seven day free trial, totally risk free. Uh, I really like this guys. Let me know what you think in the comments. All right, here we are in Nepeto. These are all your different options that you have here. Uh, I have the pro plan. So this is for online arbitrage. You have a distributor, wholesale products. Uh, you could do for these two, you definitely want to be very careful and vet whoever is in there. Uh, do your homework and due diligence. Um, the online arbitrage section is what we're going to be focused on the, and the storefront scanner. Uh, they really made a lot of great improvements that I really like. And then if you do Walmart, you have Amazon to Walmart and then be a uh, B only seller. You, that is, uh, Amazon out of stock opportunities. And then you also have Amazon to Amazon flips. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into online arbitrage here. So this is going to show us all the products here that have are arbitrageable so i have in here for cost since my typical prep cost is a dollar so that is being accounted for in all this roi over here there's so many different filters that you could do so you could do roi so you could do a minimum let's say you just want to see things that were 30 percent roi which it will pull up everything that's at least 30% ROI from all the different categories, from every store that Nepeto searches, you could filter suppliers. So you could just select, uh, let's just say if you wanted to see Nike, you could just hit save and it's gonna bring up everything from Nike that is currently profitable with an ROI of 30%. So the did, there are so many ways that you could use this. This right here is a super powerful way to use it. One of the things they introduced when it comes to um, shoes. So let's just say these were a profitable shoe. They're saying on Nike, um, these are selling, let's see, you could buy these here. And then you, if you sold them on Amazon, you'd make $67 profit, which is insane. Um, but if we check that out and it checked out, you could hit this variations tab. So now it's going to run through all the variations of this. And if there is one in here that, uh, it looks like the size 10 is also profitable and all it looks like 9.5, maybe in a different color there. So instead of having to check every single variation, this does it for you. And then you could literally just open this in another tab right here. And it will be exactly for that product. And then you could click in and see more information and have all this data load. So we could see who is the buy box winner typically and the percentage. We could see the price, the offers that are currently going on right now, whether they're FBA or FBM, if they're in the buy box, um, all their storefront information. And there's also some more information uh, right here about the, es the estimates for sales, estimated revenue, um, all the variations. So it just saves you a ton of time going through the variations and this works for t-shirts hoodies anything that has a variation food so that is one update i really like a lot another thing that i like here is this save money button so if you hit this save money button it's going to show you um, the sites uh, that have cash back or gift cards going on so it looks like arbitrage card has up to 4.5 percent off uh rakuten you could see what is going on with this. Um, they, it looks like they have 6% cash back. 
Um, and it looks like flus, you can earn up to 6%. So there's some different things here uh, that you could do uh, to see additional savings, which is really, really nice. Another thing I like here, so if you wanted this shoe and you're like, I don't want anyone else to get this $67, you could hide it. So you could, it costs $2 a week, or you could buy credits in bulk. Uh, one of the nice things about when you hide it is if someone had this favorited, so if I added this to my favorites uh, and I decided to hide this, it would go, it would be taken out of my favorites. So that is kind of the power of hiding products. I do like hiding the products. Uh, every once in a while, I'll do it. Uh, I've been doing a ton of testing on this and not hiding products to see, you know, if products tank in price and stuff like that. And I haven't really noticed a lot of the products, um, you know, going down in price. That's always everyone's concern when doing this stuff. But when I was talking to someone from there, they said they they scan the sites daily, uh, some even a couple times a day. So there's always tons of profitable products in here and people do hide them a lot. So that kind of helps you there. Um, so that's nice. Another thing I like too is if we go to online, we just go to source here, you can source by brand. So if I type in Nike right here, just like that, it's going to show me all the Nike things that are currently profitable. And you'll see you have Dicks, you have Snipes, you have Kohl's. So it's pulling from all the different websites. And again, you could use more filters. Uh, you could show, say, must have a buy box. This just makes things so much quicker and speed it up. You could also, one of the coolest things here too, you could do more filters. And if you had a coupon that you knew of, you could do 20, let's just say I had a 20% off coupon for all these stores. Uh, not realistic, but let's just pretend it applies that. So now we're looking at things that these would be profitable if we had a 20% discount code. So it just really saves you from having to do a lot of math and other calculations, uh, which I am a really big fan of. Um, so that was one of the big ones as well. And then you can also see here, down here where my mouse is, this is the found on. So they're saying this was found on July 1st at 251. So this was about maybe an hour or so ago. So obviously this is a pretty fresh one uh, product. Um, you're saying, oh, it's 152 uh, BSR. I don't really worry about that too much. You can, if you wanted to, you could just set the sales rank. You could say, hey, I wanna see everything under 100 and hit save. And then, it will continue to filter. So it gives you lots of different options to filter out uh, things you want or don't want. For ROI too, which I really like, you could set minimum and maximums. So I never really put a max because, so if I wanted a minimum of 30%, it's gonna pull up. So now we're looking at things that have at least 30% ROI and are under 100K in BSR. So. And then you could drill down even more if you wanted to um, and select a category. Obviously, this is would work differently if we weren't looking at Nike. But for other categories, this works really well. Um, so that's how that kind of works. Uh, again, you could filter by supplier. There's just a ton of stuff you could do. And then another thing I wanted to show is the storefront scanner. So literally all you have to do is enter in someone's storefront and we're gonna hit this, sorry to that person. It just is what it has, it just is what it is. So it's gonna show us all their categories that they sell in and their percentage, um, which is nice. So if you put someone in, like for me, I don't sell clothing or shoes. So I'd be like, uh, I wouldn't, I would do homework before putting this person in. But let's just say I didn't, I'd be like, ah, I probably don't want to source this person. But um, it shows 63% of the stuff they sell is Nike. And then the cool part is if we go right down here, these are all the profitable products that are in Nepeto that is in this person's storefront. So it looks like 
There is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight different things. So this is much different than plugging it into a program such as Selleramp or Keep a Product Finder and kind of doing the reverse sourcing that way. Obviously, I love Selleramp. I also love Keep a Product Finder, but this is just a much quicker way to do it. And also, this person sells a lot of apparel. So it looks like these pair of shorts. So we could also, so not only is there eight, but since this is clothing and shoes, there's probably other profitable variations in here, um, especially for shorts um, that may or may not be profitable. Doesn't look like for this one. Looks like there's one university red medium. That's actually the one that is selected. Um, but again, a lot of this stuff, especially shoes, clothing, apparel, a lot of this stuff is dependent on there being sales, discounted gift cards. Um, a lot of this stuff probably will be on sale during 4th of July. Um, so I really, really like this part because it just takes out a lot of the guesswork or it's just a good place to start. Um, use it as a starting point. Like this person maybe shops at Zappos. I haven't shopped at Zappos in a while. Maybe I'll check that out. Snipes USA. I've never heard of that site. Maybe they have other stuff. Dick's Sporting Goods. I've obviously heard of. Um, but I think people, a lot of the times when they're sourcing or using software and programs are like, oh, I just want it to give me leads and this and that. And while this does, this also creates lots of rabbit trails, as Chris Grant would say, um, to maybe this. I've never heard of Snipes USA. Let me go see what else that website has um, and kind of go from there. Um, some other stuff that I like is when you just go to the home page too, you want to be the only seller. Uh, you could kind of click here and see um, all the stuff that is currently out of stock. These are take a little more time to kind of go through. You got the keep it charts here to kind of help you along a little bit more. Um, I really don't mess around with that too much. I really use the online arbitrage and I like to filter down usually by retailer. Um, that's probably my favorite um, kind of one to go through, um, especially if you're selling lots of brands. And um, you could sort also these columns as well. Uh, you could do the highest profit, lowest profit. So a lot of the times I will sort by highest profit first uh, to see what that has to offer. Uh, you'll see here these really red shoes. They're saying you make $79, 63% ROI. Um, so yeah, this is kind of Nepeto 2.0. Those are some of my favorite features to use. If you guys want to try this out, there will be a code down below. You could use, I think it's side hustle experiment 50. You'll get 50% off your first month and you'll also get a seven day free trial. Um, if you want to use this, I really like it. I've been using it for two, three months now. Definitely found some profitable products. Again, a lot of people complain about software, but it is software. Some stuff will be out of stock. That's just part of this game. I even source manually and stuff is out of stock. So just kind of keep that in mind when you're using this. I kind of use this as a giant lead list and just to help me generate ideas, find other sales, and of course, find profitable products. Please like the video, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.